What's up guys, it's Arlen over at Pokidoki UDC, and I'm doing my final review on the Buttress wallet from Spaceman Leather and Design the Everything. Okay, so before we get going, I want to give a quick shout out to Design the Everything, so AJ and Scott and Spaceman Leather, so Paul. Uh, in the last three weeks, I've had a chance to talk to all of them, uh, get some backstory, a little bit more about what was going on with the design. Uh, all in all, three great people to deal with, uh, and three people that have the same mindset as far as how something should be built. Um, when we talk about one word, maybe to describe this thing, uh, I would say would be quality. And I think that's a, that's a word that they strive for both of them, Spaceman Leather and Design the Everything when they're coming up with a product. Uh, guys, this thing is a very, very solid EDC wallet. And it does exactly what you want it to do. It gives you no headaches. It does what you need to do. Yeah, maybe it's not flashy and it doesn't have, I don't know, whatever you want it to have, but that wasn't the design. The design was for you to be able to put it in your pocket day after day and it do exactly what you needed to do, okay? This is a work wallet. This is a working wallet that doesn't require a lot of effort to use because <laughs> that's the point of a wallet, isn't it? To be able to use it without having to really think. All right, so this is the one that I've been carrying for the last three weeks. Uh, I did not take, I did not take a light on this thing. Okay. I got seven cards total in here. I've got some cash. I've even got a little coin stuck back here. Okay. EDC cooperative, uh, just stuff that I normally carry on daily basis. I didn't go light on the number of cards I did. Uh, I basically took everything out of the wallet that I was currently carrying, um, put it all in this one and then just kept going. Uh, it has not been conditioned. It has not been anything, guys. I've literally just been taking it out of my pocket at the end of the day, throwing it in my valet tray, picking it up the next morning, and going along with my day, uh, which I think is kind of a great thing. I've never even thought about picking up another wallet uh, the whole time I've had this thing. Um, and, uh, and I have a couple, and I have a couple that I actually like, um, but I never even had the thought of picking out another one because this one was just so good and so easy to carry. Uh, as far as thickness, guys, I, I've got this thing maxed out. I mean, it got a little coin in there. I've got, I think I got seven bills rolled up, uh, seven cards, you know, and uh, I'm at like three quarters of an inch, okay? So really not, not a massive wallet. Still gonna be smaller than your typical bifold. Uh, and you know, if I take that EDC coin, if I take that challenge coin out from EDC Cooperative, uh, it's probably more like, probably more a little bit over half an inch. Um, stitching and everything, guys, really solid still. No pulls, no nothing, okay? Uh, no snags on it. That was one big thing that they said was they didn't want any hot spots on it. They didn't want any snags. That bottom stitch is really the the most snaggiest. That, that's where your snags are going to happen if they have if they happen at all. I didn't have any happen in the three weeks that I was carrying it, so you probably won't either. Um the, the the big thing for me that I, I don't like typically is the ID uh, porthole opening, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't typically need one. It's just not something I look for in a wallet, but this one has it. Uh, and the good thing I will say that they did, and I, I believe when I was talking to AJ, he said that this was a big thing for them is they didn't want the plastic. Uh, cause really the plastic's unnecessary and you can't keep the plastic from not turning yellow. So they ditched the plastic and, uh, it's, it's been great. I mean, you can see everything clearly. Um, you can clearly make out the ID from a distance, you know, no big deal. If you do need to pull it out, it's not a huge deal. Uh, the cards are not super difficult to get to. Um, uh, they have, that's one of the, the really solid build elements here is that everything's staggered a little bit. If you see that, they're all staggered slightly, uh, which is great. It's easy to get to when it's, in, when it's uh, you know, in your hands. You can pull out a card pretty easy, not really a big deal. Uh, it's almost like a, like a nail nick, you know, which is a really, really great design. Um, I, again, I don't normally like this, but I thought it was a really great idea, especially without the plastic. It didn't bother me. Um, 
Nothing about this wallet bothered me. And that's why it was so easy to carry for three weeks straight. Um, not a single complaint about it at all. Honestly, um, it's wearing really nice. I haven't put anything on it because I like the way it looks uh, worn. As far as a comparison, you can kind of see, guys, it uh, it's a little dirtier. It's got a little bit of grease on it. Uh, got a little bit of palm grease, got a little bit of pocket grease. Um, you know, I, th I think that's the beauty of a leather product is how it ages. And I think this is aging really, really well. Um, yeah, uh, the only thing that, and it's not, this is not how, what it was designed to do. So this isn't even a complaint, but, uh, a stitch or two there, maybe, maybe would, would, keep that coin in there a little bit more but again that's not why they put this back here this was put back here for business cards or for cash so um that's not even a real complaint uh disregard the last transmission um guys i love this thing it's a solid wallet um i was lucky enough to have this opportunity to review it to carry it around and uh you know as a as as a thank you i, I really want to thank aj scott and paul um solid bunch of guys uh really have a quality first mindset everything's made in the usa uh which is it's always nice to, to be able to back a usa us made company all the products are all the uh, leather and whatnot is from the usa as well so this is a 100 percent uh material construction everything made in the u.s which is right now uh some people really value that so that's a good thing uh this one's mine. I get to keep it. Okay. Uh, as part of the agreement with Paul and with AJ and Scott, I agreed that after I did my review, we were going to be able to give one away. Uh, how we're going to give this one away, guys. Uh, this is going to be on my Instagram. This video is going to be on IG Live. It's also going to be on YouTube. If you're seeing it on YouTube, head over to my Instagram, which is Pokidoki EDC. Uh, on there, you will see a giveaway post with a picture of this thing okay you're gonna follow the rules we're gonna run it for a couple of days and then one of you is gonna go home with a new wallet we will do open to everyone international shipping doesn't matter let's get the word out there okay uh also before i end this thing on top of it being a solid wallet guys uh if you head over to design the everything so if you head over to their page uh, a couple posts in i believe you're going to see a picture of this wallet in a walnut uh, tray. That walnut tray is going to be part of your purchase of the wallet. So when you purchase the wallet off their Kickstarter, it's also gonna come with a small walnut valet tray. Gonna be able to throw coins, keys, you know, your Fisher space pen, your lighter, whatever you got at the end of the day, you can throw it in there. It's a nice little thing. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed about it, um, you know, I, I'm, background i'm an environmental science teacher uh i love the fact that they're putting their product in something that is usable that is reusable that's not something that i take it out of the packaging and i throw it away uh so the fact that they're being sustainable in a way and they're they're thinking in that aspect uh is great for me uh so again guys overall quality overall just quality love it i have <laughs> i have a couple wallets uh, i have two that i bought recently that when this came in uh i'm probably gonna keep carrying this one uh you know barring anything else from happening this is gonna be my edc wallet this is gonna be the one that i leave in my pocket um buy with confidence buy from three guys that are very solid honest to deal with uh that value quality over above all else uh, check out their Kickstarter, uh, design the everything, check out Paul spaceman leather, and you guys have yourself a great evening.